The Balt Springs police chief is about to be out of a job. City leaders tried to fire him, but when that didn't work, they defunded his position as police chief. And the council member pushing for his departure has some legal problems of her own she should might be worrying about. Fox 4's Richard Ray is joining us from Balt Springs with more on this story. Richard. Hi, Steve. A little breaking news. Just minutes ago, the Balt Springs City Council did come out of executive session. It reaffirmed that it is cutting off the funding to the police contract and that effective October 1st, the deputy police chief will take over. Now, I talked to the mayor and the city attorney here. They realize there probably will be a legal challenge to that, but that's how they're moving forward. We'll now call the Bulk Spring City Council meeting to order. Ironically, on the agenda tonight, the mayor scheduled to give Police Chief Ed Morris an award for service and leadership. Ironic because last week the Balch Spring City Council first tried to fire Chief Morris outright, and when the votes fell short for that, instead eliminated the funding for his position. As of October 1st, his pay stops and he's gone without a replacement. I believe some racial discrimination. For four years until 2013, Morris served as both city manager and police chief. Two of the four council members who voted against the chief are white, but last October he filed an EEOC complaint against Councilwoman Wanda Adams and others. It involves Ms. Adams, the city manager, the interim city manager, and uh, the, uh, the current chief marshal of the uh, marshal's office. Okay, so you believe they're after you because you're white? I, I believe that could be correct, yes. Walt Springs has 39 sworn police officers who are understandably concerned. Violation of state law. Uh, the, the law says that we have to have a police chief assigned to us. I've, I've been in law enforcement since 1992 and I've never heard of anything like this. They're concerned that if they can do it to one, they can do it to all. Last week, the story took another odd turn when Councilwoman Adams, the chief's leading critic, made what police are calling a bogus 911 call. Hello? Police say Adams told the responding officer she was testing response times. Ooh, our lawyers told us not to talk about that. Tonight, Adams declined comment on the 911 call or anything to do with Chief Morris. Everything that I say now could be scrutinized, so. She did talk to Fox 4 News on Sunday about the 911 call. I dialed it, yes. I don't, I admit to that. But it was not intentional to be a bogus call. Adam said she'd seen video of shoplifting at the store, wanted police help, admitting on second thought that she should have handled it differently. Adams could be charged with a misdemeanor, though police say the case is still under investigation. And again, the city council just came out of executive session, just affirmed that it is cutting off the funding for the police chief. He is gone. Steve, I don't think we've heard the end of this one. Yeah, sounds like uh, it'll be into some legal action probably pretty quickly. Richard Ray, thanks a lot.